Number 11, we want to find x and y intercept if possible. So notice that this equation does not have both x and y. So it will not have an x intercept, it will only have a y intercept because y is the only variable present. So y, 6y equals 48. Right, so since we only have y, we will only get a y intercept. Um, I'm going to divide by 6. for y and we get y equals 8. Okay, so what this means is that y equals 8. x could be any number. Okay, x can be anything as long as y is 8. So we can get a whole table of ordered pairs here. doesn't matter what x is. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, all of these, we're going to get x equals 8. I can put in any number for x as long as y is 8. That's what this means. y is 8. y is always going to be 8. Um, we're going to go here, and we're not going to have an x, at, um, x intercept because there's no x value. Um, and then our y intercept <coughs> will be 0, 8, or 8. Yeah, 0, 8. x is 0, y is 8. Y is always 8. Um, that's what this um, means. So we completed the assignment. Now we're going to graph it. So I'm going to go up 8 units. Give me one point. And then I'm going to take this line. And I can put it anywhere as long as Y is 8. Okay. Anywhere along this line. And that's how you're going to graph a equation that only has one variable. It's going to be crossing that axis only as the number that you got when you saw. And then number 12 um, will be our final one. And I'm also going to take time and simplify this. Go to 
It's telling me that minus. So if I type over that and make it negative and then graph, I just get a horizontal line and negative 2. So be careful 